Hello everybody, Papa Richard here. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Got a problem up at the house and I'm going to work on it today. Got a problem with my washing machine. It won't spin. It feels like the drum is froze or something. And uh, it, won't, it won't spin out. So I'm going to go up and see what I can figure out. What I did is I, I pulled the motor out and uh, everything seemed to check out as far as the motor was concerned. So uh, for a long time we've had to put a sock in here or a wash rag or something to hold this. It would make the lid go down so it would start. And uh, when this problem happened, when I would close the lid, it seemed like the light would go down. So I didn't think it was this. But after I took everything apart and looked and everything else checked out, I went back to the first thing, you know, Apskin's razor, right? The first thing that ought to be. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is the switch here. This is a Whirlpool. I don't know if it's like the one that you may be having a problem with, but they're all pretty similar. And uh, there was a screw here and a screw here on both sides to take it apart popped it up and what I did is I made a little um, a jumper here and I make sure it's unplugged when you do this I jumped these two I jumped it I jumped these two here if you jump the green that'll be a direct short so you don't want to do that just jump th those other two and When I did that, it had power and it started to spin, so that has to be my problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut these and put them together. I don't have a new switch and my plug is kind of messed up, so I would need a uh, I would need a new plug too. You can see it's been getting hot there. I don't know if you can see it or not. there see it's been getting hot so this is definitely most likely the problem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those wires and put those together and we'll see if it works okay there's what I've done make sure you wrap it up tape it really good you don't want that to come loose this one you wouldn't really have to tape because there's no power but I just put a piece of tape over on I'm going to tape this up so it stays up in the air here, hopefully. But, uh, yeah. Just remember, if you uh, do it this way, until you get your switch, you can order your switch online. But uh, remember that if you do it this way, it's not the drum is not going to stop when you lift up the lid. Now, that's what this switch is for. Whenever the lid lifts up, this stops the drum from spinning. It'll still work when it's agitating, you know, usually when you have it open, but when, when it's spinning, you know, the lid has to be down. Otherwise, it won't work. This bypasses that switch, so uh, it'll work until you can get another one. And, uh, and so there. So I'm happy that's going to work for me. And it always ends up being the easiest thing. You know, I bypassed it. You know, I the first thing I thought of it, that it was probably what was causing the problem. But whenever I would close the lid, the light would dim. That to me said that the motor was trying to work. And that would mean that it, it was getting power. And uh, but So what might have been happening, it looked like the switch was a little bit hot and corroded. So it might have, when the lid would go down, it would get a little juice and then it would let loose. And it, it would not uh, get a good contact because the contact did look like it had been getting hot. So because the end of it was melted. So hopefully this will solve my problem and we'll have a washing machine. Didn't want to come out of quarantine to get a new washing machine, you know. They said that we would deliver it and put it out in front of the house, but you know, still, I kind of like to 
do that kind of stuff when I'm not under duress. <laughs> well, there it is, back in place. Run it through one cycle, worked fine. Alrighty, well, got it done. So now I got it fixed. I got to fix the you know, temporarily. If I want to buy a switch, I can buy a switch and I can go back in there and I can put the switch back in. But you know, for now it works and I don't have to wait and we don't have to worry about trying to get it washed and dryer during quarantine. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy. And the wife is really happy to get that. <laughs> you know, you know, it's, you know, when you shop for appliances, you want to go in and look at them and feel them and take a look at them and compare them to the other ones. And you, do it online and it's just isn't the same and then you get all those ones that this price is so low you got to put it in your cart because we can't let you know until you put it in your cart you know so then you got to put it in your cart and fool around and just a bunch of mumbo jumbo stuff but uh anyways glad to get it fixed and yeah can have some clean clothes now <laughs> Alrighty, make sure when you work on it, you unplug the machine. Make sure you don't want to end up being a statistic. Unplug that machine before you work on it. Alrighty, this is Papa Blue Shirt. Thanks for watching.